And welcome back on this very wintry Friday night across the state line. Major snowstorm affecting the region now. I want to start us off here with our SkyTrack brought to us by Anderson Automotive Group, Whitman Street Bridge here. You can see the reflections. It's all wet on the pavement down there. Cars are getting by pretty, uh, pretty well down there now. But if you look off to the side of parking lots over on the grassy services, a lot of snow cover, a lot of snow sticking to the ground out there. The main streets, arteries, and thoroughfares, though, are in decent shape tonight. Uh, throughout the show, we'll have to continue. We'll have continual coverage of the conditions on the streets. Now, here is that system. Plenty of moderate to heavy snow with the dark blue indicative of the heavier snow. And that has been setting up in a line along the Wisconsin-Illinois border to about I-90. Anywhere in that range is picking up a lot of snow compared to everyone else. Plenty of moisture still streaming on in, too, to feed this storm through the nighttime. Now, let's zoom in a little bit more. So, from Freeport to Rockford to Monroe to Janesville, heavy snow, dark blue. Watch this. It doesn't move very much. And because of that, totals in that area are uh, a lot more high, or a lot higher, rather, should I say, than areas down in Sterling, Savannah, Rochelle, DeKalb. You guys down there, we just got a report down there near uh, Dixon, only an inch and a half. Compare that to the snow they're getting in this snow band up near Roscoe, 10 and a half inches. Speaking of snow totals, let's pinpoint some. Four and a half in Freeport, that might need to be updated. Roscoe, 10 and a half. Rockford, six and a half. McChesney Park, eight inches. Rockton, 10 inches. You get the story. As you go from Rockford, right up 39 and 90 to the Wisconsin border, totals continue to increase with that ban in place. Winter storm warning, nonetheless, for all of the counties uh, until tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures cold enough to support snow. 30 in Freeport, Monroe. Pair of 32s in Janesville and Rockford. So temperatures are at or below freezing, and that is helping that snow to stick. Winds, they're around 13 miles an hour out in Savannah. 9 in Rockford, 12 miles an hour in DeKalb. So they're a little blustery out there. Might be causing some snow to drift as you're driving out, especially across the uh, flatter surfaces out across or away from city centers. Now, a high weather risk stays with us tonight. Heavy snow likely. Accumulations are going to continue to pile up. Trough bringing in the snow earlier this evening with the low pressure to our south that swings on through, takes the snow with it. 10 a.m. tomorrow, we're still in on some of the light to moderate snow, and then that'll come to an end as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Now, let's time it out in a different way. Heavy snow stays with us tonight through early tomorrow morning, and then it turns to a more of a lighter snow, blustery conditions by tomorrow afternoon as a lot of the heavier snow comes to an end and we drop the weather risk to moderate. Now, snow totals, like I said, 7 to 10 inches is a good bet in this area here, but right here along the Wisconsin-Illinois border and a little bit to the south in northern Winnebago and Boone counties, I think 10 to 14 inches, if not more, is a good bet for you guys by the time all is said and done tomorrow afternoon. So for tonight, 29 degrees. Winter storm warning in effect. Heavy snow likely. We'll continue to see that tomorrow. 30 for a high. Temperatures fall in the afternoon. Heavy snow through lunchtime and then turning gusty, but at least we dry out later in the day. And then I tell you what, uh, it's not common to see a temperature of 8 degrees in late November for a low. Wind chills are going to be below Below zero, below freezing, below zero, and then we warm up. Warm up. You put that in quotes no, yeah. through, through the week, and you know, 52 might feel like swimming weather yeah, by the time Thanksgiving gets here. Be a lot of melting here. by the time yes, the holiday flood comes. conditions, flooding might be Ooh, a concern by okay, the end of the week. Keep it. We got to get through one issue at a time, right? <laughs> we also want to update you guys on the road conditions because.